There are multiple connotations to this problem. It's quite an interesting one because it conceptually deals with a number of different ideas and uses a number of different metaphors in a way that they actually sort of join together. And we get things like life, birth, love, sex, uh, lo loss, and sleep. Now, having all these things together, and certainly depending on your viewpoint, I must admit, I, I thought this when I first read this poem, it immediately jumped as being something about love and sex, but it does also come across as one that is really strongly about birth as well. This idea of sleep is sort of uh, represented in a, it's an abstract idea which is represented by a figurative sense of giving birth. That is that in sleep you're inside this little cocoon and then in the morning you're sort of wrenched out of it like you are when you're born. We get this very strong imagery at the end of this child being born and, and even the imagery of the forceps, the thing which is used to help bring the, the baby out when it's being born. We sort of get this feeling that waking up from sleep is sort of like being ripped out of this, uh, this safe zone, this cocoon, these, all these different things. So it, it sort of distances sleep from, I guess, the individual who's sleeping and sort of creates this own, this sort of, this little, uh, I guess, little blanket, sort of extra existence, so to speak, which uh, sleep often gives you. And what these ideas have in common is this idea of abandoning the self, which is a person willingly or otherwise losing control of their body. So as I said, it's sort of going into that extra dimension and abandoning yourself. So it's almost like having an out-of-body experience like you are when you're doing these sorts of things. I mean, I probably couldn't really talk too much about love and sex angle, but certainly in terms of the birth angle, then it is literally an out-of-body experience. You're abandoning this, this maternal life inside the uterus and by being born, you're, uh, you're leaving that self and then being born into the real world. And it's rife with imagery, and as I said, it's particularly this final stanza where, where this, this image of giving birth is sort of presented to us in a very raw and strong kind of way. We really get this idea that sleep is something that's being really wrenched out. But also, as I said, this idea of life at the beginning where we get this idea of birth, and, and also, I mean, the idea of abandoning self comes across in terms of we abandon ourselves when we die, our soul leaves us and all the rest. In terms of life, we get this very strong image that by creating new life, we're giving a new part of ourselves to different people. And that's where we get a lot of these different concepts. So certainly when you're looking at this poem, you're going to see a number of different ideas come up conceptually. It really creates this very strong image of all of these things. And depending on your reading, you get to associate any of these ideas and make a very strong argument.